Maurice Benayoun is a French pioneer, contemporary new media artist, curator, and theorist based in Paris and Hong Kong. His work employs various media, including and often combining video, computer graphics, immersive virtual reality, the internet, performance, EEG, 3D printing, large-scale urban media art installations, and interactive exhibitions. Often concept conceptual, Maurice Benayoun's work constitutes a critical investigation of the mutations in the contemporary society introduced by the emerging or recently adopted technologies. Enjoy and soak up what he will present us today in his live CQC session. Hello, good morning if you're in Europe, and, uh, and good afternoon if you're in Asia, and uh, good night if you're in California. So I wanted to present this uh, project uh, we have been working on for the last, uh, for the last uh, few months and even few years for part of the project. And uh, it's a kind of a, a complex project that needs to be uh, described carefully. And, and this is what I will try to do today uh, in order to make uh, uh, visible the, at the same time the complexity and the richness of, uh, of the project. So uh, we can start with the, the slides. So the, the project is titled, uh, We Make Money as Art, it's not the title of the project, sorry, but my talk uh, is titled like that, Speculative Speculations on Art and Values. Uh, of course, it, uh, it may be a bit intriguing, but you will understand very quickly the relation between money, art, transaction, speculation, uh, and values, and this is what this is about. The very beginning uh, uh, of the story was uh, some reflection I had uh, uh, many years ago on uh, two concepts that seems to go uh, to, to be uh, opposite, but actually go uh, in the same direction, corresponding to the same uh, desire of the humankind, same expectation and ambition. And this is the opposition between reification and what I call sublimation. Of course, sublimation is a term coming from chemistry. And uh, it's, uh, for me, uh, the fact to try to convert all the physical world into something that we can, uh, that, uh, we can uh, divide, understand into a language. So I started probably in counting ships, uh, counting stones, counting, uh, counting uh, discrete elements that became after atoms uh, as we understood them or uh, beats as we have created them. And so we are able now to convert the world into atoms and beats. And thanks to that, we can understand the world through our mental, human, natural computation, or artificial computation. The opposite of this idea to put the world in our head uh, is reification. Reification is the fact to start from ideas, from thoughts, and expect them to exist. And uh, a very simple illustration of reification is uh, the fact to do 3D printing. You have a 3D model, which is a human-made abstraction, and you want this model to exist as a physical object without doing any uh, personal work, manipulation, or having any specific uh, skill for that. And so these two trends of uh, reification and sublimation seems to be leading the world now. We are converting everything in the world, including human being, into data, and we want this data to produce matter and to create and to reify ideas. This project started from this idea of uh, reification and sublimation. And so I wonder what would be interesting to try to see if directly from the brain, we could get our thoughts becoming maybe first images. 
And this became the Brain Factory project six years ago uh, when we started to work with it on it with Tobias Klein. And uh, I will say more about this, uh, this collaboration. And we uh, worked on the idea of uh, giving the possibility for people to start from the brain waves uh, thanks to BCI, brain computer interaction, and to go to a produce object, which is, of course, what you can do when you create a 3D model. The 3D model can become an object. And to understand this, uh, you have to understand that we started with the idea of uh, taking something from the brain that exists only on the brain, and this is human abstractions. So we started with human abstractions, and we wanted these human abstractions uh, to become objects. Of course, it's important to understand that the concept of reification is uh, coming from Marx and Lukács, who uh, explain how the commodification of uh, human values uh, would alter and affect not only economy, but the human life. If uh, you consider that you can convert love into a diamond, that means you enter the market. But are you still talking about love? That's a question. So you see on the right freedom, for example, that becomes shape. And so we created a collection of no design abstractions. And this is uh, the database. We may see it uh, uh, later with some shape coming from that. And of course, to understand this, uh, we should have a look to a short video that explains briefly but clearly the whole concept. Uh, and this concept uh, led to another project, as you will see on the video, called Value of Values. And Value of Values is the result of an evolution of the concept that has been sought and discussed with Nicola Mendoza. And Nicola Mendoza is a, a theoretician and an artist. Uh, that made a thesis about uh, uh, comparing blockchain and tie amulets. And he started his thesis about this sentence from Sal Randolph. Once upon a time, I suggested that art is just another form of money, a beautiful money, that the artists are like tiny nation, each minting their own currency. And the art world is an instrument for calibrating the values of those currencies. And they move against each other. And then uh, we started thinking that this is actually what the project is about. So now I would like to show you these short videos that talks about the value of values, this project that we started one year ago, and it becomes a real interesting thing on the blockchain. So this is the three uh, collaborators. Uh, so Tobias Klein is an artist, uh, architect, uh, and works a lot with uh, 3D printing. And Nicolas Mendoza works a lot with blockchain.
understand what you try to say and compare, for example, with other writing like a Chinese calligraphy. And the interpreter, who is another of the gang, the interpreter is actually trying to figure out how the articulation of the different words you have found uh, makes sense. So to use your brain to write, to use your brain to create a volume, to give shape, create other form of object, it's part of the reification process. And the reification process is when the values become objects. And here, for example, you have purity that becomes an inflatable sculpture. And so people out of the 3D model can create here the footprint of freedom or democracy with Here is a 3D printer that generates concrete sculpture that vanish when it rains on them, they become sand again. So the interesting element of the thing is beside of this process that create a relation between values, object, transaction, uh, there is something else happening. We are actually uh, practicing an interdisciplinary project, which is made of neuroscience, sculpture, 3D graphics, music with biofeedback, design, poetry, economics, fintech, and politics. And the artwork that has evolved from the status of art objects uh, became recently art subject with a complex behavior with artificial intelligence. But we can even say that more than a subject, it can become a virtual society. And so the visitor of the show become an artist, a curator, a collector, an art dealer, a trader in 10 minutes. And the project itself is made of a generator, a calligrapher, a printer, a reader, an interpreter, a scientist, an analyst, an accountant, and a poet. This built a new kind of art. Uh, that allow people to consider that the action of the artwork goes beyond the gallery space. So here you see the trading platform on the website uh, vov.art. And on this trading platform, you can see your collection. So this is my collection. And the collection define yourself uh, because you keep only the values you want to keep, that the values that make sense for you. And so uh, in a way we could have portraits made of values, but you can also decide to select one value and to trade it, to transfer it to somebody else. Let me show you now what the transactional poetry looks like. And so on the website, you can see, you can see the transactional poetry here and you can have it full screen. And this is, the actual transactions, it's not something we generate at random. This is something that corresponds to actual transaction. And if you go down the page, oh, you can, of course, see the volume, see the last uh, um, that has been produced. And here you see the relative value of the values. So you see here you have, uh, you have fame, love, openness, uh, purity, family, compassion, and so on. Uh, and see this? You can see how the values shall change from one country to another and compare, compare for, for example, example uh, Taipei, Taipei and Guangzhou. And, and you see that in Taipei, the, the first value is sex, love, and compassion. And in Korea, it's sex, money, and fame. And you can see exactly for which, which value for each. And, and this will allow to compare the ranking of values from one country to another. And we try, try to understand, understand what are the important values for each culture. This, this is, is something that, that has never been measured. And so the interest of the project is, of course, to make it real. And so anybody can go to the website. If you cannot access the show, we are, we are preparing, preparing a version that will be uh, uh, that, that will be online. Let me see if I can go further because I, I would like to to say something about the reification thing. So, if you get the token 
and uh, you can also buy tokens. Some are very cheap. Uh, some are expensive. It depends on the number. A token is a value like uh, love one two three four, or like love zero 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 one, and the number of course modify also the uh, the scarcity of the value. But if you produce an artwork out of the value and uh, you succeed in making sense out of it, then uh, your artwork may be presented in one of the shows uh, because we want to show uh, reification and we are totally open with, uh, I don't know, School of Art and uh, any institution that would like to have a, a partnership and create a workshop to have uh, artists uh, working and doing and uh, creating artworks out of what we call a seed of art, uh, uh, which is a VOV. Uh, and then this can be part of one of the shows. So uh, this one you see here, it's a project of creating a big reificator. And the big reificator would print the 3D models, the values in concrete. And at the end of the process, instead of uh, having a beautiful vanity, it rains on the sculpture and the sculpture becomes sand again. And so you have to start again the process. So it's like Sisyphus. Uh, but it's also a way to say we cannot convert totally our soul into objects. But in a way, isn't it the, the role of the artist to give shape to ideas? And this is uh, what this project allows. So if you make sense out of the final model, then suddenly you legitimate the practice. Uh, so we are totally open to many kind of collaborations for that. And uh, we have many exhibition plans, but for most of them, they have been postponed. So I don't know exactly when they will happen. So I, I won't tell you, uh, I won't tell you where it is. But we need to have exhibition as many countries as possible, uh, as it will allow to define what is the ranking of values for each country. And then what is ranking of values for each people and each city as well. And so this project is a form of survey. It's an uh, experimental project. We could say it's a kind of global art project, not, uh, uh, not in the classical sense of the term, but because it's touching, is uh, affecting so many fields and layers of uh, human activity at the same time. And it's pretty funny to do as well. So. This is why people uh, usually uh, enjoy to do that. And here we have one of the related projects, which is actually the brain cloud. We had a, a big cube made of uh, plenty of LEDs to represent this evolution of the brain in action. So definitely value of values is a way to speculate and to speculate on the human values uh, at the theoretical level, metaphorical level, and at the financial level as well. I hope I've been clear, and thank you for your attention.